Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and welcome to a brand new tutorial series. Now, we're going to be looking at a uh, open source WebGL powered 3D game engine called Babylon JS. Um, it's very cool. I definitely, if you're looking at primary target being the browser, I recommend you work in the browser. So, like I said, there's um, tools out there such as Unity or Unreal Engine that can target the web browser and generate um, code for it. But what you generally get there is almost assembly level uh, HTML5. So, if there's a problem with your generated code it's on your game engine to fix it it's almost impossible to debug some of this generated code so like I said if your primary target for a 3d game is the browser itself I recommend you use an engine such as this one now there's a text-based version of every post in this tutorial series and you know we're very early on we're gonna cover all facets hopefully so let me know what you are interested in seeing covered uh, I have linked the first part the, the equivalent to this particular video down below and it lists some of the alternatives so if you want to work in the browser but for some reason Babylon JS isn't for you uh, there's a couple of alternatives listed there, such as um, 3JS, Play Canvas, etc. But there are not actually that many 3D game engines that run in the browser, which is strange given the proliferation of WebGL. And that's a big part of why I'm actually covering this now. WebGL, uh, as of just a few days ago, is now turned on by default in Chromium. So Chrome is going to have a WebGL support out of the box. Pretty much every single mobile browser now has some degree of WebGL support. So 3D in the browser is finally becoming a ubiquitous thing, something that you can actually rely on. And if you do want to create a game for iOS or Android, etc., there are wrappers that are capable of running WebGL generated games as native applications on those various platforms. So that is definitely one of the advantages here. Now, the flip side is when you're running a WebGL or a HTML5 application on these various platforms, you don't get that native look and feel. And there's a bit of a performance penalty for WebGL versus uh, OpenGL ES, for example. So, um, you know, pick it based on your primary platform. If your primary platform is mobile or um, desktop, you're probably better off going with a traditional game engine and just adding HTML5 support, you know, as it's generated within that engine. But if your primary platform is the web, I do recommend going with you know, an HTML5 game engine, such as Babylon JS. Now, Babylon JS is a very capable game engine. You've seen some of the videos playing in the background. These are all things that have been generated and rendered using uh, Babylon JS. And you can see right in front of you, this is the feature set of uh, Babylon JS. It's a very well updated. The nice thing is it's got, uh, first, a fully open source, completely free to use, uh, and it's very timely. It's, it's, con it's continuously being updated, and you've got a lot of... Um, uh, features and tools that are built in out of the box, including kind of amazingly enough, a Unity exporter. So you could create your scenes in Unity and export them out to uh, Babylon JS. On top of that, there are file exporters for your major modeling packages, such as 3D Studios Max or Blender, for getting your assets into uh, Babylon JS. So the work pipeline for moving content in is often the tricking, it's the spot where people trip up. So uh, it's nice to see those mature tools in there. And then as you can see uh, from this graphic, there is pretty good cutting edge functionality in here, including stuff such as VR support, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and a little bit infantile in the browser, but uh, definitely something we're going towards. And we've got browser support. We got support for, sorry, um, gamepad support. Uh, we got support for um, multiple rendering modes, multiple rendering cameras, including cameras oriented around touch devices, etc. cetera. Uh, this is definitely a very cool application. I haven't done anything HTML5 related or JavaScript related in a long time. So that's why I'm going down this road with this particular uh, game engine. Uh, please do let me know what you'd like to see covered, what your interest is is here. Uh, if you're not into Babylon JS, don't worry, I've got other stuff in the works. Uh, but if you know, you're kind of unfamiliar with it, I do recommend you check this out. It's a cool engine and you might be shocked at just how much you can do in a browser. So again, your feedback is important. If there are certain things you'd like to see covered, uh, do let me know. As you can see, here is the table of contents in front of us. It's very early on. Uh, but I'm going to try and keep each text and video post in this pretty short. I want to keep them five to 10 minute bite-sized chunks as I go forward. Uh, the code up, uh, code is already up for uh, three or four different pieces in the um, Patreon Dropbox site. So if you want to get a jump on it, check out if you're a patron backer, uh, check it out. The code is already um, starting to be up there as I'm writing more. I'm up to part three or four right now, uh, you know, camera lighting, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be covering all kinds of things. But if there are specific topics you do want to see covered, uh, do let me know. Um, so hopefully this is a series that you do find interesting. Uh, if so, please do uh, click like down below. And if you're interested in seeing how this thing uh, turns out, uh, do click follow or subscribe. Uh, anyways, I hope you find this useful. I hope you enjoy this series. Uh, stay tuned. I should have the next part up very, very soon. All right. See you all later. Bye.